into this video I wanted to go over Blue Beetle's critical hit rate and explain how it actually works. I've also written up another document for Blue Beetle, explaining how it fully works, what the difference is between additive and multiplicative, the actual formula you want to use, and example calculations, then a step-by-step -step guide on how to actually do it yourself, with some extra notes and then a conclusion, and then I also have two examples, one for Valby and one for Bunny. I'll have this linked in the description below if you prefer to read over it so that you have a better understanding of how it works. So Blue Beetle has a unique ability called Arcane Wave. This ability usually has a skill cost, but you can reduce the skill cost to 0% when you have the weapon fully enhanced to level 4. The first ability is called Arcane Energy, and the trigger condition is whenever you use a fusion skill. And whenever you use a fusion skill, you have a chance to activate Arcane Energy, and when you have the weapon fully enhanced to level 4, that chance becomes 100%. So when it's level 4, when using a fusion skill, grant self the unique ability Arcane Energy, and we have a trigger rate of 100%, and whenever we trigger it, we gain critical hit rate plus 30% for 10 seconds, but this skill critical hit rate is multiplicative and not additive. We also have purification. When using a singular skill, it grants self the unique ability purification with a set chance. When the weapon is level 4, we have a trigger rate of 100%. The duration lasts for 1 second, that's all you need to remove the debuffs, and this removes debuffs at a 100% success rate. Whenever you use it and you gain another debuff, you can just reuse a singular skill and it will remove the debuffs again. Now, to actually understand the difference between additive and multiplicative, Multiplicative. If arcane energy was additive, the critical hit rate would simply add 30% to your base. For example, if we had a base critical hit rate of 20% and we added the 30%, we would be up to 50%, and that would make the gun pretty broken. But that's not what happens here. Arcane energy is actually multiplicative, which means the 30% boost is based on your current base critical hit rate, and it's not a flat addition. For the example calculation, if we have a base critical hit rate of 20%, we would convert that to a decimal number of 0 0.20, and then arcane energy gives us 30% which is 0.30 and then to calculate the 30% boost we do 0.30 times 0.20 and that gives us 0.06 or 6% we then add the 6% to our base critical hit rate on the descendant so we do 20 plus 6% that gives us 26% so the 30% boost from arcane energy only increases your base critical hit rate by 6% bringing it up to 26% you should also note that the 30% boost doesn't apply 6% to all descendants since each descendant has a different critical hit rate so whenever you use arcane energy your final critical hit rate will be different depending on what character you're using i've then also written up some examples so for valby valby has two fusion skills bubble bullet and laundry bomb these two skills can be used to trigger arcane energy which will then provide you the 30 percent boost and to check valby's base critical hit rate you just go into your inventory and press upwards this gives you the skill critical hit rate of five percent so valby has five percent base critical hit rate and the way we calculate how much arcane energy gives us is by doing 30 percent of five percent so we turn arcane energy's 30% to a decimal, which is 0 0.30, and then we times it by 0 0.05, and that gives us 0 0.015, or 1.5%. So if we use a fusion skill to gain arcane energy, we should have 6.5%. And that is what we get. 0 0.30 times 0 0.05, that equals 0 0.015 or 1.5%. 1 we then add both of those together, that gives us the total 6.5%. So that means we only gain an increase of 1.5%, resulting in the total crit rate of 6.5. However, Valby has a red mod called Supply Moisture. This one states, while on water, increase firearm critical hit rate and skill critical hit rate, skill duration, firearm attribute trigger, and reduction of MP consumption does not apply. This will change your passive, so whenever you're standing on war, you'll gain these buffs. And you'll see if I use my third skill to create a puddle on the ground, I'll gain my passive. And that increases my critical hit rate up to 25%. Now if we're using this red mod, our base critical hit rate will now be 25%. Because this passive is added onto your base critical hit rate before the 30% is multiplied on top of it. Which means if I'm using my blue beetle, I'm standing in a puddle, and I use a fusion skill, my skill critical hit rate will be a 32.5. That's because with the new 25%, we now do 0 0.30 times 0 0.25, and that gives us 0 0.075, or 7.5%. And then 25 plus 7.5, that gives us 32.5%, and that is what we get.
32.5%. Here's the supply moisture calculation. So whenever we're standing in a puddle, we now have 25%. 0.30 times 0.25, that is 0.075 or 7.5%. We add the 7.5% to the base that we now have, and that gives us 32.5%. So whenever we trigger arcane energy for the plus 30%, and we're also using supply moisture, you will now gain a 7.5% increase, resulting in your total critical hit rate of 32.5%. Now for Bunny, you can actually gain arcane energy and purification, because she has fusion and singular skills so you can obviously cleanse your debuff by entering and exiting your speed of light your second skill and the two fusion skills that can trigger and the two fusion skills that can trigger arcane energy is thrill bomb and maximum power so with thrill bomb you can use but you'll be locked in an animation for a split second or if you prefer you can use your fourth skill maximize power just double tap it although if you use the first skill you will still be able to stay inside of your second skill but if you use your fourth skill, you're brought out of your second skill. Now, Bunny has a base critical hit rate of 10%, which means we do 0.30 times 0.10, and that gives us 0.03 or 3%. So then we do 10 plus 3, that gives us 13%. So whenever we use a fusion skill while holding the blue beetle, we go up to 13%. 0.30 times 0.10, 0.03 or 3%. 10 plus 3% equals 13%. So whenever we trigger the arcane energy, Bunny only gains a 3% increase, resulting in the total crit rate of 13%. Hopefully this video was able to inform you on how Blue Beetle actually works. It doesn't add 30% to the base of your critical hit rate. It's a multiplier, so you do 30% of your critical hit rate. I'll also have the document linked in the description below if you want to read over it. But if you found the video helpful, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. It really helped the channel a lot. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.